let me just add a few more things to it to make it better. I'm gonna go in here, steal one of these documentations for the function, and give it a summary. Got the URL. Let's add a username and a password. Just like that, let's give it a usage example, which we have exactly here. Cool, and there it is. Let me remove all that, useless. Cool, so now this function is done. Let's quickly compare this to our old function, just to see the changes that were made, the refactoring that was done. This is our new one. Let's grab our old one. Here's our old one. Let's compare. Check it out. So obviously our new one, I'm sorry, our new one is here on the left and our old one is here on the right. The old one obviously doesn't have any description and we just changed the names over here. Um, check out how much more code the old function has. Guys, by the way, if you don't know this yet, more code does not mean better. The more code, the worse it is. The more debugging you have to do, the more lines you have to step through, the more reading you have to do, uh, the more processing the computer has to do. You want to accomplish everything in the least amount of code as possible. So the less code usually means something is better. When you look at a good developer versus a bad developer, a bad developer will make a lot of silly mistakes and they will have more code than the good developer because the good developer knows how to accomplish something in a much more efficient manner. Doesn't that make complete sense? So that's why our old function took up a lot more space than our new one. But of course also the functionality was decreased, which is also great because it means it's that much easier for the user to navigate our website. So anyways, Check it out, you see, you guys see all this green, that's how much extra code there is. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot of extra code here and a lot of stuff that we removed from this function. And that's the difference. So let's delete this from our function library. And I'm gonna paste our new one in here. Save that, grab this, paste it in there, and that's it. We got our new script, our new function that will allow us to open an application and log in. And now we can use this for comparing the speed of developing a test case for keyword-driven framework versus the test-driven framework.